everyone knows that wine is made out of grapes in wineries, right? Nope. My guest today makes wine out of raspberries in his garage. Andy Satter is case in point that if you discover and pursue a personal passion outside of work, you will be more professionally successful. Andy, tell us about your award-winning winemaking. I've been making wine for four years now with a friend who's been making wine for 15 years. We make wine with locally grown raspberries. I meet the farmers. I've been wanting to do it since I was 19, and I discovered the Napa Valley on a bicycle. And it's taken me all this time, but um, I just love doing it, and it gives me energy. And mm. I have a lot of passion for coaching, but I also have passion for making wine. What have you learned from pursuing a passion like this? I learned a couple of things. One is that I've learned to balance risk taking with taking chances. So when you make a bottle of wine, or make a you know a batch of wine, there's chemistry, and you have to follow the steps. But if you only follow the steps, then you're going to come out with mediocre wine. So we're constantly trying to push the envelope a little bit, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. The other thing I've learned is it's a collaborative effort. So sometimes I'm working with my 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 friend Garth, and He's the mentor and I'm the mentee, but sometimes we, we reverse our roles and I'm the mentor and he's the mentee. So it requires us to be flexible and to be able to be fluid going back and forth and who's taking the lead on this particular part of the project. Now you're an executive coach like me. How has pursuing a passion like this helped you professionally? A couple of ways. One is it's fun and it gives me, it, it feeds my mojo. Um, my clients know I'm passionate about coaching, but they didn't know I was passionate about what, making wine. And when I share that with them, it gives them a peek. It's like pulling the curtain back, and they get to see another part of who I am. I'm, so I'm not just a two-dimensional person, more three-dimensional. And it gives them permission. I'm modeling for them how they can share some of their passion at work as well, so that people see them as multidimensional, not just as the boss or just as, as you know, the, the IT guy or who, the CEO, whoever it is that they are. So it gives them permission to pursue and to talk. And when you start talking about your passion, you discover other people have similar passions or different passions, and one thing leads to another, and you never know where it goes. Right. Now, I have a feeling that some of us are jealous of you. We're jealous because you have already discovered your personal passion, and we haven't. Do you have some tips to help us discover what we're into? Being jealous is a waste of creative energy. <laughs> okay. I encourage you not to be jealous. Instead, think back at a time in your life where there was something that you wanted to do, but there's a little voice in your head that so you can't do this, nah, 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 nah. don't wait to win the lotto. Do it now. Okay. Or if there's something that you did once before, but you gave it up, go back to it. And then when you, when you start doing it, you know, the, the, every journey begins with a first step. So when you start to do it, let other people know, and they can then, you know, it's like a snowball. They feed into your energy, and before you know it, you're having a blast with it. Yes, and now I'm going to have a blast. May I? Absolutely. Are you 21? Mmm. <laughs> if you also want to taste this award-winning wine, here's all you have to do. In the comments section below, we'd love to hear about your personal passion. So share it with us. Andy and I will read through them, pick our favorite one, and then we'll find some legal way to share a bottle of wine with you. Did you like this vlog? Yes? Then please share it, like it, post it, tweet it, or simply add your comments below. I'm Ora, Executive Coach. Power up your leadership presence. <music>